what is the relation between total revenue and price elasticity of demand now whenever uh, we talk about uh, demand and supply theory total revenue jo hai uh, it is one of the key decision variables koi bhi form ke perspective se agar aap socho to they are obviously interested in the revenue that they are earning uh, from the production process and we say that total revenue is equal to price into quantity kitna quantity sell kiya ja raha hai into the price at which the quantity is sold is the total revenue now what is the relation of this total revenue with the elasticity of demand aur kya मार्केट uh, में इस बात पे आपका टोटल रेवेन्यू डिपेंडेंट होता है कि डिमांड का कितना इलास्टिक है या नहीं है सो so बेसिकली एक सप्लायर कितना रेवेन्यू अर्न कर रहा है मार्केट पे ये इस बात पे डिपेंडेंट है कि उस मार्केट में जो डिमांड कर्व है वो कितना इलास्टिक है uh, इस रिलेशनशिप के बारे में हम डिस्कस करने वाले हैं कि टोटल रेवेन्यू इलास्टिसिटी पे कैसे डिपेंडेंट है सो लेट्स ट्राई एंड अंडरस्टैंड दिस through a graph suppose this is the demand curve theek hai yahan pe you have prices you have quantity suppose uh, this is the equilibrium point and at this point jo price uh, calculate hui hai let's say that is equal to 4 dollars theek hai and the quantity is 100 units so equilibrium price is 4 dollars and equilibrium quantity is 100 units you can say in this coordinate this area represents the total revenue because total revenue is nothing but prices into quantity and uh, this is the price this length is the price and this width is the quantity so price into quantity ka matlab kya hoga jo ye rectangle ban raha hai so this area represents the total revenue earned by the supplier in the market when the equilibrium price is 4 and the quantity is 100 now we will try to look at how this total revenue or this area changes as we move along the demand curve and so because we are talking about the relationship between price elasticity of demand and total revenue we'll try to look at different kinds of demand curves some elastic demand curve some inelastic demand curves and we'll see ki when the demand curve is elastic what happens to total revenue and when the demand curve is inelastic what happens to total revenue if you remember the last class we have already talked about Uh, the relation between elasticity and the slope of the demand curve we have said that as the demand curve becomes flatter elasticity increases so i will take two demand curves here one a flatter demand curve and the other a steeper demand curve where the steeper will uh, represent a case of an inelastic demand curve and a flatter demand curve will represent the case of elastic so this is elastic and say this is inelastic so now let's uh, try to look at the same point for the two cases so 4 dollars 100 units that's point a and we will try to picture this on uh, both the demand curves the initial point is 4 dollars and 100 units now we want to see what happens when suppose because of certain changes in the market uh we we've already read this in chapter 4 that how can an equilibrium change an equilibrium can change because of the change in demand or the change in supply we are not talking about the specific change but we are just saying that let's say there has been some change in the market which has resulted into an increase in price from 4 dollar to 5 dollar so the prices have increased from 4 dollars to 5 dollars which will move you to this point and we will try to put this on both the cases i'm saying that the quantity reduction in case of inelastic demand curve is 90 we are moving from 100 units of consumption to 90 units of consumption and in case of elastic demand curve we are moving further ahead and we are now consuming 70 units instead of 100 units so even before looking at uh, the total revenue 
you know graphically you can clearly see that in case of elastic demand curve your reduction in consumption is way larger than your reduction in consumption in the inelastic case which is also logical because you say that elasticity represents more response jo ki aap clearly yahan pe demand curves mein dekh sakte ho now the next important thing is to understand ki iska total revenue pe kya effect hoga so let's first try to plot the टोटल रेवेन्यू इनिशियली जब फोर डॉलर थे प्राइस तो कितना टोटल रेवेन्यू था दिस एरिया इज फॉर द केस ऑफ इन इलास्टिक एंड दिस इज द केस ऑफ इलास्टिक ठीक है एंड आफ्टर एन इंक्रीज इन द प्राइस यू नोटिस दैट दिस इज नाउ द टोटल रेवेन्यू ऑन इन केस ऑफ इन इलास्टिक डिमांड कर्व एंड दिस इन द केस ऑफ इलास्टिक डिमांड कर्व you can clearly see from the two figures that an increase in the price causes a decrease in the total revenue for this case when the demand curve is elastic whereas you will notice the opposite thing happening in case of inelastic aap yahan pe agar notice karo uh, this was the initial area that uh, the total i mean this is the total revenue jo ki ये फॉर्म ऑप्टेन कर रही थी इनिशियली जब प्राइस इंक्रीज हुए सो यू नोटिस दैट दिस इज द एक्स्ट्रा रेवेन्यू दैट नाउ दे आर गेटिंग और ये वाला जो एरिया है वो अब नहीं मिल रहा है उन्हें बट यू कैन इफ यू लुक एट दीज टू एरिया केयरफुल यू विल नोटिस दैट दिस इंक्रीज इन द टोटल रेवेन्यू इज ग्रेटर देन दिस डिक्रीज इन द टोटल रेवेन्यू ये जो यहाँ पे इंक्रीज हो रहा है फॉर्म के टोटल रेवेन्यू में That is happening because now you are selling the quantity at a higher price. आप फोर की जगह पे फाइव सेल कर रहे हो एट एट ईच यूनिट यू आर नाउ सेलिंग इट एट फाइव रुपीज इसलिए आपको ये इंक्रीज मिल रहा है इस एरिया में ये डिक्रीज किस लिए मिल रहा है बिकॉज नाउ पीपल आर कंज्यूमिंग लेसर नाउ पीपल आर नॉट कंज्यूमिंग हंड्रेड बट दे आर कंज्यूमिंग ओनली नाइनटी सो ऑब्वियसली ये जो एक्स्ट्रा टेन यूनिट पहले कंज्यूम कर रहे थे इस पे अब आप रेवेन्यू अर्न नहीं कर पा रहे हो बट यू विल नोटिस हियर दैट द इंक्रीज इन रेवेन्यू बिकॉज ऑफ द इंक्रीज इन प्राइस इन केस ऑफ इन इलास्टिक डिमांड कर्व इज ग्रेटर देन द डिक्रीज इन रेवेन्यू पहली चीज यहाँ पे ये क्लियर होनी चाहिए कि इंक्रीज इन प्राइस की वजह से आपको जो टोटल रेवेन्यू में इंक्रीज हो रहा है विच इज दिस एरिया इज ग्रेटर देन द लॉस इन टोटल रेवेन्यू दैट यू आर फेसिंग बिकॉज ऑफ डिक्रीज इन क्वान्टिटी for the case of inelastic demand curve so you can say that in case of inelastic demand curve an increase in price will result in an increase in total revenue when the demand curve is inelastic whereas in case of elastic demand curve an increase in price is resulting in a decrease in total revenue and again you can clearly see here that this was the initial total revenue that the firm was getting now because of an increase in price this is the extra amount of revenue this area ye kyun ho raha hai kyunki now you are selling each unit of the quantity at a higher price but the fall in the total revenue that you experience because of an increase in price jiski wajah se quantity decrease ho rahi hai that is much much greater than this increase in the total revenue and because of which you notice that the overall effect on total revenue is negative your total revenue decreases in case of the demand curve being elastic aur ye kyun ho raha hai because elastic demand curve mein quantity reduction zyada hota hai as compared to an inelastic demand curve to jo loss aapko ho raha hai by selling lesser amount of quantity wo aapko elastic ke case mein zyada ho raha hai so even if you are increasing the prices it is not necessary that your revenue will always increase यूजली एक कॉमन मिथ होता है जिसमें हम बिलीव करते हैं कि अगर किसी फॉर्म ने किसी प्रोड्यूसर ने किसी सप्लायर ने अगर किसी कमोडिटी का प्राइस इंक्रीज कर दिया है तो डेफिनेटली रेवेन्यू इंक्रीज होगा दिस इज नॉट ट्रू इट इज नॉट नेसेसरीली ट्रू दैट एन इंक्रीज इन प्राइस विल रिजल्ट इन एन इंक्रीज इन रेवेन्यू वाई बिकॉज एन इंक्रीज इन प्राइस कैन रिजल्ट इन अ डिक्रीज इन क्वान्टिटी एंड दिस डिक्रीज इन क्वान्टिटी can affect your total revenue or wo aap clearly yahan pe dekh rahe ho that in case of an elastic demand curve an increase in price results in the reduction in total revenue 
and in case of an inelastic demand curve an increase in price results in an increase in total revenue इलास्टिक कब होता है जब इलास्टिसिटी इज ग्रेटर देन वन और इन इलास्टिक वेन द एब्सोल्यूट वैल्यू ऑफ इलास्टिसिटी इज लेस देन वन अनदर केस इज दैट वेन योर डिमांड कर्व इज यूनिट इलास्टिक फॉर दिस पर्टिक्युलर केस योर रिजल्ट विल बी दैट एन इंक्रीज इन प्राइस विल रिजल्ट इन नो चेंज इन टोटल रेवेन्यू दैट इज द टोटल रेवेन्यू विल स्टे द सेम वाई बिकॉज यूनिट इलास्टिक के केस में जितना भी प्राइसेज में इंक्रीज होगा एग्जैक्टली exactly उतना ही डिक्रीज हो जाएगा क्वान्टिटी में जितना भी एक्स्ट्रा रेवेन्यू आप अर्न करोगे इन टर्म्स ऑफ इंक्रीज इन प्राइस एग्जैक्टली उतना ही आपका रेवेन्यू डिक्रीज हो जाएगा बिकॉज ऑफ डिक्रीज इन क्वान्टिटी तो वो दोनों इफेक्ट बैलेंस आउट होके आपको टोटल uh, रेवेन्यू में कोई इफेक्ट प्रोड्यूस नहीं करेंगे सो so, अगर आप सपोज एक सप्लायर हो सपोज यू आर द पर्सन हु इज लॉन्चिंग एनी कमोडिटी आपने कोई एक सर्विस प्रोवाइड कर रहे हो या आपने कोई प्रोडक्ट डिजाइन करा है एंड यू वॉन्ट टू सेलेक्ट और यू आर थिंकिंग ऑफ इंक्रीजिंग द प्राइसिस ठीक है ना अगर आपको इकोनॉमिक्स की फेयर नॉलेज नहीं है तो आप ये मिस इंटरप्रेट कर सकते हो कि अच्छा वेन एवर आई एम इंक्रीजिंग द प्राइस इज माई रेवेन्यू इज गोइंग टू शूट अप दैट मे नॉट बी ट्रू वाई बिकॉज इट इज पॉसिबल दैट यू आर सेलिंग अ कमोडिटी विच हैज अ वेरी हाई इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ डिमांड और इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ डिमांड किन किन चीजों पर डिपेंडेंट होती है दैट वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई टॉक अबाउट अ कमोडिटी which has a lot of options lot of alternative options theek hai suppose um basically you see that you have a list of goods here uh, now to each his own i mean ye jo conclusion hum derive kar rahe hai ye hum ek aise consumer ke basis pe derive kar rahe hai jis consumer ke liye specifically kis company ka toothpaste wo use kar raha hai ya kis company ka biscuit wo kha raha hai doesn't matter but there could also be a consumer jiski specific uh, फेवर है कि इफ आई एम हैविंग अ बिस्किट आई विल हैव अ बिस्किट ऑफ सो एंड सो कंपनी यू नो यू यू वुड नोटिस कि बहुत सारे लोग अलग अलग होते हैं देर आर सम पीपल जिनको एक स्पेसिफिक कंपनी का ही चाय पीना है एक स्पेसिफिक कंपनी का बिस्किट खाना है एक स्पेसिफिक कंपनी का टूथपेस्ट यूज कर रहा है सो बिलीविंग कि हम एक ऐसे कंज्यूमर की बात कर रहे हैं हु इज मोर ओपन टू ऑल्टरनेटिव एंड फॉर हिम और हर इट डजेंट मैटर विच पर्टिकुलर ब्रांड विच पर्टिकुलर साइज ऑफ टूथपेस्ट मेडिसिन बिस्किट ही और शी इज कंज्यूमिंग now believing a consumer like this uh you will whenever suppose you are the person who is supplying or producing toothpaste theek hai now if you think of increasing the price of your commodity say you are company a and there are many more companies available b c d e f jiske uh, toothpaste available hain and you are company a now if you think of increasing the price of your commodity of your particular brand then अगर आप इस मिसकनसेप्शन में हो कि आपके इंक्रीज इन प्राइस की वजह से आपका रेवेन्यू इंक्रीज होगा देन दिस इज अ रॉन्ग थॉट व्हिच कैन कम इनटू योर माइंड इफ यू डू नॉट हैव अ फेयर नॉलेज ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स इट कैन बी अ मिसकनसेप्शन बट द ट्रूथ हियर इज दैट इंक्रीज इन प्राइस इन दिस पर्टिकुलर केस मे नॉट डेफिनेटली इंक्रीज योर टोटल रेवेन्यू द रीजन बींग दैट any consumer can go to company b c d e or f who are supplying the same commodity at a lesser price so your increase in price will ultimately result in quantity de- demanded aur wo jo reduction hoga wo itna zyada hoga ki aapke price ke increase ki wajah se shayad aapka total revenue decrease ho jaye so as a business strategy this may not be the right thing for you to go with and that is exactly what you are learning from this exercise that whenever the demand curve is elastic in this particular case we say that the demand curve is elastic because we are talking about a good jiske bahut sare alternatives available hai theek hai so in this particular case maybe increasing the price is not the right strategy because increase in price may result in decrease in total revenue so whenever someone asks you ki increase in price is always nice will always give you more revenue no unless your commodity is something which has a targeted audience so for example i talk about iphone now again agar aap phone industry ko dekho to there are many more options you have vivo you have oppo you have samsung you have many options available i mean there is a targeted audience for people who have iphone or who want to have iphone uh, with them now even if iphone shoots up the price like significantly high 
they are sure that their total revenue will not get affected why because they know that they have a niche audience they have a niche target group who will always consume their commodity even when they increase their prices so maybe increasing the prices for a supplier or a producer producing iphone which is basically apple uh, will not be a bad strategy because they know that their quantity will not get affected or their consumption will not get affected so much that it will overpower the effect of increase in prices so as a strategy as someone who is on the supply side it is always important to consider ki aap jis commodity ko produce kar rahe ho uski demand elasticity kya hai jitni zyada elasticity hogi utna kam aapka revenue hoega agar aap price increase karoge that uh, you compared two demand curves in this case you are you are comparing an inelastic case with an elastic case but now if you forget about two cases if you only look at one demand curve which says a linear demand curve that even on this one demand curve you can say that elasticity will change at each point of the demand curve elasticity changes at each point so kis point pe ho aap demand curve ke us pe dependent hai ki elasticity kitni hai so across a demand curve elasticity varies elasticity is not constant aur ye aap nikal sakte ho apne midpoint method se uh, usually the key point that has to be kept in mind is that suppose this is the midpoint of the demand curve then you say that points here on top of the midpoint all the points have elasticity larger than 1 all the points that you have in this part of the demand curve are elastic whereas all the points on this part of the demand curve are inelastic so all the points on the bottom of the midpoint are inelastic or they have elasticity less than 1 we are talking about the absolute value of elasticity and on the top of the midpoint you have the uh, elasticity to be greater than 1 so even though the slope of the demand curve is constant the elasticity is not constant again an important lesson that along a linear demand curve we say that the slope of the demand curve is constant but along a linear demand curve elasticity is not constant you can clearly see that the elasticity on the top of the midpoint is greater than 1 whereas the bottom part of the demand curve elasticity is less than 1 so obviously agar aap total revenue calculate karoge at each point it will differ if you are calculating the total revenue at this point or you are calculating the total revenue at this point it will differ